Well, masks are vital in the fight against COVID-19, but are they all created equal? Net gators are becoming increasingly popular right now, but there are conflicting reports on whether they're effective. Isaiah Kim Martinez did some digging today to find out what kind of face covering can best stop this spread. Isaiah. Latricia Kim, most of this stemmed from a Duke University study published a few weeks ago. Their data showed that net gators allowed for more droplets from a person's breath to be released than no mask at all, leading many to believe they're ineffective. Now we're learning it's not that cut and dried. But I've been in the outdoors my entire life, so yeah, I love rock climbing, road cycling, mountain biking. Josh Legg has made a habit of trying all different sports every few years. Naturally, he manages the Rock Creek on the north shore of Chattanooga, where people just like him can get what they need to be active. Lately, though, Leg says they've seen a huge increase in their sales of neck gaiters. We sold out of everything we had, you know, right off the bat. Normally used for sun protection, now used to protect each other. Well, N95s have pretty much been considered the gold standard from the start. Neck gaiters, though, not as much. Usually by many seen as more of an alternative face covering, potentially not as effective, especially those like these made from thinner material. Gaiters have been extremely extremely popular, largely because they're comfortable, more reusable, and arguably easier to breathe through than other face coverings. But one recent Duke University study pointed toward them potentially not being very effective in the fight against the virus. Their data showed wearing no mask at all released fewer droplets into the air. The only thing that you're comfortable wearing is a neck gaiter then you should use a neck gaiter. Meanwhile, Chattanooga native Dr. Davey Smith, who works at the University of California, San Diego, doesn't believe people should ditch them. I think that we need more data to really say that. I think it's a good scientific question and a hypothesis that needs to be tested. Smith says it's more important to focus on the material being thicker and closer to the face. Research will continue to change, but for right now, we're popular on their own, but I mean to, to be sold out. Leg says this remains the go-to option for many coming into his store. And Dr. Davey Smith, who you just saw, he's originally from Chattanooga. He explains how health departments around the country should approach changing research and data when it comes to masks and everything else COVID-19 related. That's coming up. Kim. Isaiah, thank you very much. Well, the CDC hasn't specified which type of face coverings they see as more effective, but they do say masks with valves or vents to exhale should not be worn to help prevent spread.